Okay, this is Kaiser Hospital. Kaiser Hospital, hey. Um, National Union of Healthcare Workers, used to be 250 at uh, one time, and uh, they're on a 24 hour strike against primarily, I think, staffing levels, stuff like that. And CNA has come out with them. Hello, how, how you doing? I'm just taking a little bit of video here. Hey, I, go I, for it. I run a blog. Oh, what a lovely gold case. Looking good. That's good. <laughs> and so um, I think CNA has uh, a no strike clause, but they are striking in sympathy. I don't think the employer agrees with that. But... Here we go. Hey guys, hello. Hey. How are you doing? Hey, uh, do you want to say a couple of things? What, what are you out? What are you out? Primarily the issue. Patients' rights and access to better health care for our patients. Yeah. Yes. And uh, but uh, you, uh, I was asking you before it's about CNA. I mean, uh, uh, they they have a no strike clause though, don't they? My understanding is there's probably CNA right here. Is they're allowed to send a peace strike with us. That's what CNA is doing. Is they're doing a peace strike with us. As we are in lockdown in negotiations. Sorry, sorry. And my understanding is as soon as we talked about patient care in a contract negotiation, that's when Kaiser came back and said, well, we also have some of our demands for restructuring your pension, which came out to reduce pension, and also uh, pay more into our health care. Yeah. What about other 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 unions here? I remember Local Six used to represent people here. Optical is here today, and then also the engineers are doing. Um, they're striking with us today because their contract comes up in seven months. Oh, okay. So they're out with you today. They're out with us today. Are there any unions crossing? I that I can't speak to. But, yeah. Uh, the guy in the white jacket down there, lab coat okay. Andres, is one of the head of our okay. uh, union, and he has more specific information. Okay. Got anything else that might be of interest? I, you know, say I have a little blog and I'll put this on a blog if that's okay with you. I think just know that we're doing this for patients to have better health care. Um, that, that right now when patients come in, they have to wait a long time to get an appointment and then we can't see them with the frequency they need to be seen. Yeah. And we're fighting for more staffing and, and more availability for our patients. Okay. That, you know, I've seen many managers really being in sympathy with this strike. Yeah. And sympathy in the... Uh, of what we're striking for of better uh, uh, health care for our patients and more access. Okay, good, thanks a lot. You're welcome, now we'll help you with your uh, family emergency. Oh, <laughs> the look, if, if you look at them, they're psychiatric. We brought, we brought a couch out for They're psychiatric <laughs> workers and they said they will help me with, I've got a parent problem, my dad and my mum, you know. Dad used to beat me and, uh, and everything else, so they're gonna help me. We're here to help. Yeah, but don't do it today, because you're on strike. So we tell them, so we tell them, we are the union, we are the union. Hey, um, so um, what you, which, oh, you're in, N you're in NUHW also then? No, unfortunately, the medical social workers in Northern California are still stuck in SEIU. Oh, I see. Oh, so you're in SEIU? For now. Uh, are SEIU honoring the lines here? Or are they out with you guys? Unfortunately, with the... no. SEIU is behaving in an anti-union way, as they did during our last strike. They actually, I understand, have a table in the cafeteria where they're spouting misleading information about the strike. So they're basically union busting. Yeah. And that's that's normal for them. That's what they did yeah. during our last strike. They actually sent out uh, messages to workers, to their own workers, saying that they couldn't join us in a sympathy strike, and that if they did, they might face um, disciplinary action I see. by their managers. Instead of advising them that they should all be supporting us. Yes. No. No. Well, that so, goes on. That goes on, unfortunately, in the labor movement. Uh, uh, that sort of a competition, but to, what, what about the issues here? I asked a couple of other people. It, it's, it seems to be staffing a lot has to do with it and everything. 
So the NUHW in Northern California consists of mental health therapists and optical services. And in Southern California it consists of mental health therapists and allied uh, professionals including audiologists, dietitians, speech therapists, and nurses. Yeah. So it's a statewide strike. And the issue is they've been negotiating with Kaiser for about a year in the north, maybe nine months, yeah. and in the south, longer. And Kaiser fails to negotiate in good faith. They have continued to propose significant cuts to our health care benefits, retiree medical benefits, pension freezes. And what's really appalling is that Kaiser's profiting at this time when they want to cut their workers. Yeah. They made something like nine billion. Six billion dollars since it? 2009. George Halverson got a $1 million raise last year. He now makes $9 million a year. So I can understand if Kaiser were in fact struggling, yeah. like the auto industry. Yeah. I can understand that we would all have to take a cut. But when the executives have like six retiree um, pension plans themselves and they want to cut the workers who are actually caring for the patients, it makes no sense. Well, tell so me this. Appalling. Tell me this: Is there much hostility on the on the workplace around this division between the with SEIU's behaviour you just described and everything else? Yeah, I think people are you know people who understand the issues are very upset that SEIU is showing no solidarity with their coworkers, and it's pretty baffling. What it says to us is that SEIU is already sold out. You know, SEIU has already made deals with Kaiser to give up our benefits during the next contract. Otherwise, they'd be out there striking side by side with us. Yeah, no, that's that's it's a shame. Unfortunately, that's happening in this struggle uh, with the ILWU up in in, uh, in Washington, where another union is scabbing on the ILWU. It's just uh, yeah. crazy. So yeah, it's basically it's very clear. The CIU during the last strike was sending out the same message that Kaiser was sending to its workers, which was, "Don't strike. You don't have a right to strike. You may face disciplinary action." Whereas CMA, who got it, said, "Oh, we do have a right to." Send strike and we'll be out there with you. And so CNA, the engineers, I understand the Teamsters, yeah. uh, stopped work over here, like 400 of them, and walked off the work site, which oh, was that's building great. the new hospital when they saw that we were picketing. Yeah. So I think it's beginning to grow. It's beginning to become more clear that Kaiser is enriching itself and is not really concerned about patients and is well, that's... not really concerned about its own workers, as they purport to be with their Thrive campaign. Oh, Thrive campaign. So apparently they only want their top execs to thrive. Well, not thanks a lot. Nurses, thanks a lot for your, your statements. Not their mental health patients. Either, yeah. Who are waiting a really long time to get services. Okay, thanks very much then. Thank you. Bye.